Video Games New York in Manhattan might just be the world's best video game store because as far as I can tell, they have pretty much everything. Would you like to see what I thought were the 52 coolest items they have for sale? Look, this is a special edition Pokemon GameCube and this is a special edition Pokemon N64. This is a portable DVD player with a Game Boy Advance cartridge slot and this is what its controllers look like. I mean, did you even know this stuff existed? This is a Sega CD and this is a Sega CD mint in the box. This is a Japanese Sega CD and this is a portable Sega CD in Genesis and one. This is Mario Paint from the United States and this is Mario Paint from Japan. Here's some imported Wii games, here's some imported Xbox games, and here are some imported playing cards. Nintendo actually started as a playing card company in 1889 and they still make them, but only in Japan. This is their joystick selection, and in case those don't work for you, they've got parts for you to make your own custom joysticks. They've got pretty much every console, regardless of popularity, seriously, regardless of popularity. This is a Resident Evil 4 chainsaw controller where you press start by pulling the cord. Here's a copy of Resident Evil 4 where the cover was misprinted so that what was supposed to be printed on the side of the box is actually on the front. Look, they're not all winners. These are games for the Milton Bradley Microvision, the world's first portable game console. Here's a variety of Game Boys, some of which have aftermarket modifications like backlighting, and here's some spare parts if you want to do your own modding, and then once you're done, here's some games for your Game Boy, some games for your Game Gear, and some games for your Atari Lynx. This guy is a glucose monitor that goes into your Nintendo DS for what I have to assume is the world's worst video game. Here's something Cheater Solder into their controller for a leg up in Call of Duty. Here's a limited edition of one of the best Dreamcast games. This is one of the rarest Final Fantasy collectibles ever. Only 2,000 were sold, and this is something called a Super Boy. It plays Super Nintendo games on its own screen, and on the TV, and you can plug controllers into it, and it plays any game, not just Barbie. Here's some stuff, here's some stuff, here's some stuff. Oh yeah, here's some issues of Nintendo Power, and here's the last issue of Nintendo Power. Here's Nintendo Power before it was called Nintendo Power and was just the Nintendo Fun Club News. This is what a Neo Geo cartridge looked like. This is the Wizard Edition of Nino Kuni. This is an 8-bit Nintendo game from Japan. This is a Factory Sealed Harvest Moon. These are Tiger Electronic games. This is a Pokemon Teaches Typing game that never came out in the United States. This is a game game with a built-in DVD player. This is a PlayStation 2 development kit, and this is just their printer. Nothing super fancy, though I think it also makes copies. They have all of your favorite Mario games, including Mario Kart 64, Mario Print World, and Super Mario and Friends When I Grow Up. This is a Lara Croft memory card. Nothing to say here. Let's keep moving, keep moving. These are erotic Atari 2600 games. Let's keep moving, keep moving. What else? What else? Oh, here's a PlayStation signed by Kojima. Here's a DS signed by Miyamoto. Here's an Atari portfolio, which you may remember John Connor using to hack an ATM at the beginning of Terminator 2. Here's a factory sealed Game & Watch, which, with this product, means someone ordered it through the mail and then for some reason never opened it. Basically, you gotta get to Video Games New York. Even moving this fast, they have too much cool stuff for one video.